morning you guys welcome back to my channel if you are new my name is Mackenzie make sure to hit the subscribe button and stick around today I am saying it with a heavy heart but this is going to be my last full week of college ever I cannot believe it as you guys know I'm currently studying abroad in Florence Italy and this is my final semester it's currently Monday December 5th and on Thursday December 15th I will be headed back to the United States so we have made it to the final 10 day stretch and I just can't believe it you guys it's going to be a crazy week here um, no more traveling I did my last weekend trip of the semester this past weekend to Amsterdam and then I'll be spending the rest of this week kind of getting my ducks in a row and kind of tying up some loose ends here in Florence. I've got many presentations, final exams, things to pack up, things that I said I would do in Florence that suddenly there's 10 days left and I'm like, oh my gosh, I actually have to do that. So that's what this week's going to be all about and really just soaking up this time with my roommates Olivia and Lauren who are my absolute ride or die girls that have been with me since literally college orientation. So I'm feeling all the emotions. Um, I don't really know how to feel, so instead I'm feeling everything. Um, sad, excited, nervous, anxious. I don't know what I'm doing post-grad, and honestly, I don't think anyone does. So just finding comfort in that and just trying to take it day by day. Thank you guys so much, truly, from the bottom of my heart for being with me from the very start of my college journey. I feel so fortunate to have it all on camera, but I seriously cannot process that. In 10 days it's gonna be over so yeah all right I have a busy day of class I've got three classes back to back and they're gonna be full of presentations and stuff so let's get going all right this is what I'm wearing today I've been wearing these like long sleeve cropped tops from Shein like every day I have a white one a black one and a brown one they're awesome I need to get more colors and then I've got on this super oversized flannel from boohoo my jeans are from revolve I've got on my hutch boots from Steve Madden that I feel like I wear every single day. And they also have a little puffer that I'm gonna throw over top. It's actually supposed to be like pretty nice this week, like 55 every day, but rainy. Really? Mm-hmm. I just got out of Italian. I gave my final oral presentation last week, but we have our final exam later this week. So we just prepared for that. And then now I'm off to fashion media. I worked on a project for this class literally for 12 hours yesterday. And today and Wednesday, we're gonna be presenting. My presentation day is not till Wednesday, but Lauren's going today. So we're just gonna be spending class listening to those. And accuracy of our information published. Um, and I am taking my outfit of the day with the tripod. I've been so out of my routine the last few weeks that I feel like I haven't like gone out and taken an outfit photo in forever. So getting that done, if it's cute, I'll leave it here. All right, it's also been a minute since I went to the grocery store, like literally weeks since I've cooked at home. I had so many restaurant collaborations and then I had visitors for two weeks. So we were eating out every day and I know it's my last week and I do want to eat out a few days and like try a couple last new restaurants and go to a few favorites. But I also want to like have lunch food and snacks and things like that. So I'm picking up the essentials now. Probably my last time doing this. Probably my last grocery haul here in Italy. Um, I got, you know the drill, potato chips, popcorn, muffins. Those are my breakfast and snacks. And then I got stuff to make the Olivia sandwich, which is bread, arugula, um, two packs of prosciutto, and then a block of brie, and then a thing of fig. We'll never go through this much fig, but the bigger one is like way cheaper, so I just got that. I got some potatoes. I got some tomatoes, some feta, some pesto. And then I also got chicken so that I could make chicken and rice with those ingredients. And then I also can do a pasta with those one night. And then I got two waters. And somehow that was $31. I don't know how, um, but it was. So anyways.
This is literally my favorite lunch to have here. So good, brie, fig, arugula, prosciutto, and then some potatoes. Yeah. All right, so for once, I feel like I can actually use my lunch break accordingly. Um, the last like few weeks, it's just been like constant unpacking, repacking, showing Sam around the city, doing a day trip here, doing a day trip there. But now I can just like kind of reset and go back into normal mode. I guess it's kind of irrelevant since I only have a week left, but typically I would be spending my lunch break catching up on blog posts and things like that. So that's what I'm doing right now. I actually wrote like six blog posts on our plane ride home from Amsterdam the other day. And now I'm just like basically plugging and chugging, adding photos, links, uh, backtracking things and attempting to get three blog posts up today so my goal is to get my niece france travel guide up my niece slash paris outfit guide and then a weekly wrap up as well i also need to edit a youtube video i've been so behind on editing i really really apologize you guys but in my head i would rather be getting videos up a week later rather than not at all during the semester I hope that you guys have been able to kind of keep up still i will be back on track once i'm back in america and things have slowed down a bit but yeah so that's where I will be. It's three o'clock, which means it's time for me to head off to my luxury market class. I was able to publish the outfit guide. So cute. I loved all of the outfits from France and so did you guys because my content has been doing so well on Instagram lately. If you guys aren't following me already, make sure you do so. My Instagram is style by McKenz. I'm gonna post this outfit to my feed later today but very pleased with how this turned out. And then I just finished linking everything in my travel guide. Don't have time to add photos yet, so we're just gonna revisit this when I get home from class. I'm on my way to class right now, and I'm by myself because Liv is staying home. She's sick again. And I have to say, I gotta give my immune system credit. Everyone else has been sick so many times this semester, but not me. I've been like fine, knock on wood. But anyways, I'm listening to my Spotify wrapped. It was honestly pretty good. No surprises. I'll leave it here and I'll leave my playlist linked down below in case you guys are interested in listening to the same thing as me. I was sick of working at home, so I decided to just stay here at the school once I got done with Luxury Market and crank out my next two blog posts. So just finished them. It's like seven o'clock now, but honestly, I just, I haven't like been on my grind lately. And so whenever I like have this wave of inspiration, I feel like I need to take advantage of it. So just uploaded my travel guide, super cute, see lots of fun pictures in this. And then I also uploaded my weekly wrap up. It was a fun, chaotic, crazy week. Shocker, I feel like I say that every week with lots of jackets, scarves, and layers. So just rounded that up. And now I'm going to just like sit here and actually kill a few minutes. Um, my big Allie is supposed to be calling me during her lunch break, which means she should be calling me any minute now. So I'm gonna just hold off. That way I can walk and talk to her on the phone when I go home. So yeah, Whew. feeling much better. Um, I just talked to Allie for like 40 minutes and I made myself dinner and I'm talking to Mike who's depressed and hungover. Um, yeah, that's all. I look like I got hit by a car, so. All right, good morning guys. It's Tuesday and we have a big presentation, our final presentation in our European study tours class. And yeah, so I'm getting ready. Um, over the weekend, I actually bought some new makeup. I know, crazy. Um, I was running out of foundation here and so I picked up the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk I'm trying this for a collaboration and I really hope I like it. I also got a concealer and I got a lipstick from them. So fingers crossed that this is a good match. I did have her color match me in the store, but you know, like sometimes that's only like so good. So I'm really interested to see how I'm going to like this. Um, so far I like it. It's very um, smooth. It's giving you guys like a little first impressions. I might not mean to makeup guru, but um, 
it's definitely like a little bit orange but if you know me in real life i am like a little bit orange tinted especially this time of year i have really really olive skin and so it just like tends to look very orange compared to everybody else so yeah it's not like the thickest coverage in the world but i feel like it's doing the job and i love that it's a pump i really really enjoy pump foundation so all right blending 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 also when i bought this it came in like the cutest packaging ever and she gave me like a million free gifts and i was like is this what it's like when you buy f high-end makeup um i've always been a drugstore girl but it was like such an experience buying this that i really hope i like it because it was it was a lot of fun this is what the packaging looks like it looks like so sleek and fancy okay then i also got the concealer so i'm gonna put a little bit of this under my eyes and then i'm just gonna do the rest of my makeup like as i normally would underneath this concealer as you can see is like a lot more uh olivey compared to the foundation the foundation has a little bit of a warmer tint to it and this one i got in a shade lighter so that i could use it under my eyes too all right i'm gonna do the rest of my makeup and I'll come back to you guys so you can see the final product. Okay, Lauren told me that my makeup looks a lot more natural than it usually does. Alright, so I'm going to try the lipstick now. And I'm still using a little bit of lip liner. I use the... Hold on. I typically use the Essence Stay All Day 8 Hour Lip Liner. I've used this for years. It's waterproof. It's great. Um... And I probably go through three or four of them a year. Okay, and then I got a lipstick. I haven't worn lipstick in literally so long. This is the number 109, and it's the Giorgio Armani Lip Power. And I just picked a color that looked honestly close to the lip liner I used because I felt like I loved that color. So something that matched would be pretty good. Cute. I haven't worn lipstick in so long. Look at it. Ew. I feel like I need lip gloss on like it feels weird not having big yeah. juicy lips Anyways, all right. I'm currently in my natural hair era Mostly because I'm lazy not because of anything else, but if you didn't know my hair is like actually pretty curly So I'm just embracing it today. It's been really rainy and gross the last like few days Which is honestly the reason why I haven't bothered to put heat on it because it'll just like frizz up or if I straighten it, it'll just curl up. So, but I've really got some spirals going down there. So, time to pick out an outfit. I'm trying to wear like all of the sweaters and stuff that I just like haven't gotten to. That way I can round out my wardrobe this week. Lauren, what are you wearing? This. Oh, cute. That I found in the bottom of my closet. It's from Zaffle. So cute. This is what I'm wearing today. My sweater is from Shein. Isn't it really cute? I really like this one. My jeans are from Express, and I can't believe I'm saying it, guys, but I'm wearing sneakers to class. Um, if you know me, you know that every time I put sneakers on with anything, I feel weird. And Lauren tells me it looks normal, and then I convince myself that it doesn't look normal, and I change into boots, but not today. Um, these are my Xenas, and I'm realizing that Lauren's legitimately wearing I know, that's uh, I was, the exact same yeah. thing. We have a I had it on first. We have a presentation today in class. We're going to look Apparently. so cute. Now we're going to look so cute next to each other. All right. Let me grab my muffin and get out of here. <laughs> it is so dreary outside right now, which is such a bummer. It's supposed to be like cloudy and rainy all week, which stinks because it's our last week. But... Anyways, I'm feeling good. We just gave our final presentation in my Italian European study tours class, which means I'm officially done with that. Um, that was my last class. So one class down, three more to go, but feeling good. I'm headed back to the apartment now for my lunch break. Gonna make a sandwich and get some editing done. Also, I can't remember if I showed you guys last week, but they put the Christmas tree up in our little square. We live over by San Ambrosia Church. I can say that because in a week I won't live here anymore. But um, they always have like a little cashmere mart happening outside of here. 
And this dog, I swear, like every day it's out barking. <laughs> Hi, puppy. <laughs> okay, I am making the Olivia for lunch. I usually make one and a half of these. I always feel like one is not enough and that two is too many. So one and a half it is. I put butter on either side, like as if it's a um, grilled cheese. Just a little bit, just to like make it nice and brown and crispy. Okay, and then on the other side of the bread, I'm taking some fig and put a generous amount. This is what makes it nice and sweet. I probably will never eat this sandwich again when I go back to America, to be honest, just because the ingredients for this are like super cheap here in Italy, but they're not in America. Like brie is so expensive in America um, and it's not as fresh, but here I love it. So anyways, all right, I'm putting a lot of fig. Okay, then I'm taking my brie. And it's important that you put the brie on the same side as the fig because they melt into one another and it's like so epic when it does. So I just put, I don't know, I just like cover the bottom with whatever seems good. Then I take some prosciutto and I usually do two slices and I put that on either side of the sandwich. Should I become a food vlogger guys? And then, this is the most shocking part, because if you know me, you know I don't really like lettuce, and I especially don't like lettuce on sandwiches. But I've been on an arugula kick here, and I actually really like just a little bit of it on my sandwich. So this is my vegetable for the week, mom, if you're watching this. Be so proud of me. All right. And then you just heat it up like a grilled cheese on the stove top. Yummy, so quick and so easy. Yummy. I can't take credit for this though. This is actually Olivia's invention slash her favorite sandwich. So that's why we call it the Olivia. So my goal was to finish editing this vlog last night and I ended up talking to Mike until a little bit later than I expected and then I fell asleep. So just trying to get through this today. While I'm home for lunch, I'm putting on what I am praying is my last load of laundry here. camera quality is so bad lately this is my first vlog camera that I got when I graduated high school and I'm about to graduate college and the quality is just shit on it because I've literally beaten and battered and bruised this camera but don't worry on Black Friday I did order a new one so when I'm back in America you guys will have better camera quality I did replace this camera um, actually like a year and a half ago and when I was in Mykonos that camera got a piece of sand stuck in it and so the lens wouldn't open so thank god I ended up bringing both with me because I've needed both but anyways I was on my walk home and I was like oh my gosh I forgot to take my outfit of the day so I called Olivia and was like Olivia will you be so nice and help me take my outfit of the day and I was like I'll give you a big fat smoochie if you do and she was like fine I guess I'll come I'm like guys this is the last week ever that Olivia's gonna have to ever take my outfit I was really in. like who, the, who is she talking to because I like from the angle I couldn't see the camera like I thought you were talking to someone in there I'm like what the hell no uh, thank you guys show her she's wearing Olivia's I mean she's wearing uh Jules vest wow, I got like, for a house crappy I feel like I look really good today I know and we're both wearing our Xenas don't you beat out girls Anyways, all right. Thanks Mine's are so much. Together. Thank you, little one. Haul time. All right, guys. I have influenced everyone on the freaking long champ, even Olivia. And guess what? She got a hot pink one, which is so 
so so like we're gonna look back on this and she's gonna be like why did i get a hot pink yeah, one but it's so cute i have a black toe i don't need a black the thing toe. is is that they're a lot cheaper here they're 160 i think for the large in america but here they're 110 and you get well actually no you don't um what else did you get i got one of these from my mom and one from me look how cute they are they're wine stoppers Oh, that's so cute. Where did you find that? Um, this place. Just like by the Duomo? Yeah. Did Lauren come with you or no? Yeah, she came with me after class to go buy my purse and we saw this on the way home. It was actually one of the places Chris has told us to go, but we couldn't find it on, Lauren couldn't find it on the map, so we were like, wait, that's it. So mm -hmm. look how cute it is. Cute that's little it. gift idea. Eating dinner with my bestie. All right, so. Yeah, we're eating the leftover rice from yesterday, <laughs> and we just made two pieces of chicken. And we were like, so when Olivia's mom came, she brought ranch seasoning packets, and like Olivia was like, just put some olive oil in it and throw some ranch seasoning on it, and that's like the thinnest piece of rubber chicken you've ever seen. Mmm, in Valley. <laughs> and Olivia made her potatoes since mine weren't that good yesterday. We miss you, gelato man. We miss you, Massimo. We really like we're going from eating gelato every single day to like no, I think I've had I it. I haven't had. I've had it once since. I don't think I have. So we are venturing Wait. out and we're going to a place. I got today. it once when my parents were here. And that's a it. new place because we need a sweet treat. There's like nothing to do. What Jess, now that we're done with our homework? Jess Look at all the lights. Aww. Jess and Lizzie have, have had this place. We got they got on the way home from Lions one night. Little ice cream dates. I know we're at a new place today. I'll leave the name of it here on the screen if I can remember. Okay, this is such an interesting combo, guys. There's like amaretto and like I don't even know what this flavor is, but I've never seen it. It's good. And then I also got biscotti cookie. Mmm, biscoff cookie, whatever it's called. Mama! Alright guys, I hate to say it, but that was probably the worst gelato I've had here. Um, it was good, but it was very granular. It wasn't like gelato -y. Mine was, was very ice cream. Yeah, I got two flavors fine. and you got one of the same flavors as me. I liked <laughs> So it's 8 p.m. and I wanted to give you guys a little update on my makeup because I've had it on for almost a full 12 hours now and I'm really impressed you guys. So I've had this lipstick on since this morning, obviously 11 hours ago. I've eaten breakfast, lunch, and dinner and had a whole water bottle and given a presentation. I've been talking all day and it's still on. I feel like you can't really see it that much like on camera, but in person, like it's still on there. So great on the lipstick, no transfer, still looks good. Obviously I would do a touch up if I was gonna like take pictures or go somewhere, but like I'm kind of shocked that none of it's come off. My foundation, I have very dry skin. And so unlike a lot of people, I know a lot of people worry about like, do they look shiny in their foundation? For me, I'm always wondering, um, is the foundation gonna show my like dry patches? I get a lot of that around my chin, especially this time of year. And this one is like not really clinging to anything, which I'm really surprised by. I have a little bit of shine right here around my nose, which is pretty typical. And then I have a lot of highlighter on the tip of my nose. That's not like oil, it's just highlight, but yeah, I feel like it looks great. I look glowy in the right places. Underneath of my eyes, um, I have a little bit of creasing from the concealer, but not as much as I typically do. I usually use the LA Pro Girl Concealer, and you can see a little bit of it right here, but that's basically from my um, bags under my eyes and from nothing else. You can also see that my eyelashes are very long right now. Um, I've been using the Babe Lash, not Grande Lash, the Babe Lash Lengthening and they have a lengthening serum and they have a volumizing serum. When I start using both of them, I swear within a week, my eyelashes look like this again. They look amazing, super long. I've done eyelash extensions. I love them. I love wearing fake eyelashes, but I've kind of been taking a break from both since being abroad. And this makes me feel a lot more confident in my lashes. So if you are looking for something good on your Christmas list, I always recommend that. And my hair, guys, my hair is just like on another level right now. My natural hair has not been this curly in so long. I think it's because it's been so humid and just rainy. So whenever my hair gets wet, it like curls up like this. But I've never been so unconfident in my hair, like literally ever. Um... 
I switched up my hair care routine about a month ago and I switched to all Aveda products and I really like them. They're supposed to be like strengthening for your hair and reparative and my hair is very damaged. I haven't gotten it cut since before I left for Florence so in August and then around Halloween time I gave myself like a little half inch trim but I still I feel like even after four months my hair just like is not growing at all like if anything it honestly feels shorter than when I got here and I know that's because it's just breaking off and I feel like really not confident in my hair color right now and I thought I went back and forth about getting it done here and like getting it highlighted and finding a salon and at the end of the day I was like you know what I'm not so much worried that I won't like the color but I just kind of felt like in my heart I should just like give my hair the break and not color it so I didn't I do have a hair appointment scheduled for um, the 20th when I get back home to the states and I'll go blonder and like I'm going to my typical lady and getting my same like blonde baby lights but before I came here she specifically put like low lights in it to make it grow out a little more natural and it definitely like I don't have a super harsh line as you can see right now my hair is just like collectively blech like blech. my hair is like flat to my head I have no shape no body to it I have really really thin fine hair but I usually have great volume to it and I could just like really need a haircut too as soon as I get home that's the first thing I'm doing cutting my hair and getting some color in it um, and then hopefully just taking better care of it I'm like really trying not to put heat on it as much I'm about to hop in the shower which is why I wanted to give you guys the makeup update but I was thinking about washing my hair and then I was like no just leave it one more day Mackenzie tomorrow I will like put it up in a ponytail or slick it back or something but I don't know if anyone has any tips on just like not feeling so blech in your natural hair and just like in general I know that I should really try the curly girl method because as you can tell just from like this little bit um, I do have some type of texture there but I don't know and it's funny because I go down the TikTok rabbit hole of seeing all these blondes to like go truly brunette and I'm like oh my gosh like I, I should so do that like I should just try it one time and see if I like it and right now my hair is probably the second darkest it's ever been in my life and I literally hate it and then I'm like Mackenzie that's obviously not a good idea because when you look like this you freak out so I don't know there's still some blonde in it obviously but it's like very very dirty blonde right now <sighs> anyways all right I'm gonna shower good morning everybody it is Wednesday last school day of the week because on Thursdays we usually have that field trip class but last week was our last week of it and tomorrow's an Italian holiday so nobody has classes tomorrow but anyways today I'm giving my presentation in fashion media and we're reviewing more for our Italian exam that's on Monday so I'm wearing a top from Express body contour and then I've got on a flannel my jeans are from Express same Steve Madden boots how do you feel about your last Italian class until your exam Ciao, 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 ciao. So I just gave my presentation and by no means was it the best presentation I've ever given. But, you know, it did the job. So now I'm home. It's Wednesday, which means I have a three hour long lunch break. And I posted a TikTok last night that's like actually getting some traction. My TikToks have been doing so horribly um, recently. I think they changed the algorithm. But um, anyways, I posted a TikTok and it's doing well and I got a lot of questions on it. So I want to film like a couple of TikToks replying to some of those questions. All right. So the other day on our plane ride home from Amsterdam, I wrote my what to wear in Rome and I also wrote my how to day trip to Rome. So I'm just adding the links and changing the headings and things like that to these blog posts. I need to add the pictures and stuff. But... These are almost ready to go live. One's going to go up today, and then the other one I'm going to schedule for tomorrow. Guys, Olivia made the Olivia for me today because it just it's never the same when I do it than when she does it. So basically, I'm better at making the Olivia. Yep. I'm better at making the potatoes. I'm better at everything. She's better at everything. Oh, no. I just want to be a little bit short. <laughs> Your sound effect? Insert this picture of me and Lauren three years ago today. What? 
The one where I look like <laughs> She's is come a long one? way, guys. She's glowing up. Here she is now. No, I look fine. I just look white compared to you. I look beautiful in that picture. I don't think I look I bad. Hot girls wear their chuggy long champs to class. Uh, I just told Olivia, if 16-year-old me, I got my long, my first long champ for my 16th birthday. If 16-year-old me knew that at 22 years old, I convinced my two best friends to buy a long champ for themselves, she would be hype. She would be so hype. The funniest part is that, like, me and Lauren have known you for the past three years, and we know that this is your go-to bag for the past three. Like I always I like, I wasn't until here that we we're like, oh yeah, we. Should. I use a lot of different bags, but if you know me, you know that like I always come back to the long champ, especially during baseball season. Anyways, we're walking to Simone's class. We have like a seven-page paper due with Jess as our third partner um, on Monday. And we really want to go out and like just be rowdy and like do fun things this weekend. So we really need to actually focus. So Olivia, go to Red Bull. Cheers. Cheers. All right, look at us hardest working girls in the building. We're the hardest last ones girls. left. Um, Simone's class, we basically like had a work period for our final project, which is a seven page paper where we have to design either an app, a concept, a product that we're basically bringing to life. We're talking about the who, what, why, market research, yada, 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 yada. So we're creating an app where people can put all of their study abroad recommendations for other study abroad students. So made by study abroad students for other study abroad students. Basically a rundown, a rundown version of it would basically be turning my website, turning a travel guide into an app, which is still a genius idea and something that I potentially could launch uh, once I graduate but for right now it's just an idea for this project that we're trying to get an A on so we're hard at work we Olivia, should get an a on. Olivia show them what you got we don't need to get we already have A's in this class um, I'm designing our graphics so we got our QR code our logos what it looks like on a phone um, and then like what that actual app looks like it won't focus Mackenzie <laughs> So we, we can, I'll show you another time when it decides, oh, I hope, hopefully I'm not covering the bottom. All right, after school, and I just got my Rome outfit guide up, literally two outfits, super short and sweet, but I got a lot of love on these outfits, so I wanted to make sure that I put them in a blog post. And then I also shared a like 24 hours in Rome travel guide, just kind of what we did. We took the train, and then we went to Trevi, then we went to the Pantheon went to some of the ruins, the Colosseum, uh, and then went to eat, and I shared my food recommendations and just a couple of outfit ideas, and rounded that up. So this is actually gonna go live tomorrow. I was able to post a couple of TikToks while I was home, and now it is 6.30. The roommates, Jess and I, Jess is not a roommate, if you guys didn't know. I know some of you guys are newer to my channel right now. Jess is not a roommate. She's just like our only other friend here uh, when it comes to study abroad. We made reservations at our favorite little pizza place that's literally like right next door to our um, apartment. We are gonna go and just have one final meal there. They have the best pizza. It's actually, I think, the oldest pizzeria in Florence. So we're gonna go there, hope to have a couple drinks, and then attempt to go out tonight. Honestly, I don't love going out here, mostly because every night like ends at 3 a.m. here, and I just don't wanna go out until 3 a.m um because things happen really really late so i don't know we'll see how that goes but i'm gonna try to get dressed into something else right now happy wednesday night hey, I put like that. all right my top is from princess polly my pants are from revolve i haven't worn them actually yet my shoes are just black boots and then i'm wearing my leather jacket and my trusty purse combo both of these are from Shein, and I wear them every single time I go out without fail. Jess my, is rocking the yes, or the my, my style. My style top. in Florence, these pants are thrifted. My coat is the only jacket I have left in Italy, and my Air Force is that I wear every single time <laughs> every, I go anywhere. Everyone's like on their last leg right now. <laughs> Lizzie presented her project today, and she pulled an all-nighter, so she's really good, OTD, but she's coming with us. Okay, um, OTD. <laughs> uh, uh, these are my collars. Um, these are my mom jeans from ASOS. Uh, this is Mackenzie's sweater that I've worn. <laughs> Liz has been 
wearing this since last Thursday when we left France. This is today. actually the real sweater I've been wearing all day, but I just threw this on because I, I took it just to announce. Oh, yeah. And then <laughs> the, the no life behind her eyes. Ah! Oh my god, that's what you said to me! And then <laughs> Nick Dover, Nick Dover said, hey, what are you guys doing the day of graduation? Making out with uh, Mackenzie? <laughs> Wait, he said what day are you graduating, sorry. <laughs> Oh, the timing. Send it down here. All right, guys. Lauren and I are splitting some burrata tonight. Yum. It looks like something threw up on <laughs> Jess's pizza. <laughs> no, I'm so the burrata is amazing. I got four cheese, but it smells like skunky cheese, so I'm nervous. I'll have to let you know. All right, my pizza, I hate to say it, you guys, was not good. It was the skunky kind of cheese. Oh, Gorgonzola. I'm so sad that you didn't like it. It wasn't Gorgonzola, but it was aged cheese. My pizza was so good. Incredible. Immaculate. Anyways, all right, we're trying out a new bar tonight. What is this place called? The Book Pub. Book Pub. The, no. the, the, book, the Book Pub? Book Pub, yeah. Book the pub. Book Pub. Lauren and Olivia came here a while ago, and we have never been. So we're trying it. And we got... Actually, it happened in a while. Um, we can do it. You can make it now. Okay. Ooh, that's very good. Country roads, take me home. Ah, yeah, I know. I know. Yeah, to the way. In America's class, I belong. West Virginia. We, like, truly haven't had a day where we just, like, leave the house and see where the day takes us since we got here. Like since the first week, it feels like I never- uh, uh, Justin and I have. They have, yeah, but you have. I haven't been home on the weekends or anything like that, like, you know? This is what me and Olivia would do literally every weekend. Okay, when well, you would I'm us. participating for the first time and I'm excited, but I'm hopefully, so happy, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully it doesn't you know, rain. Those kind of days end up at XO. Yeah. Always, always. So it's really funny because oh we God. actually only know three people outside of our program in Florence and we decided to go to Rooster for brunch and all three of them are sitting right there Yeah, I've kissed and Olivia's two kissed two of them. <laughs> so that's epic, but I'm excited one last chicken and waffles here I like brunch at 2 30 p.m. To start the day We weren't hung over this morning. We were just honestly talking and I was filming a holiday campaign But anyways, this is one of my favorite restaurants here you guys. I've only been twice but they have the most amazing chicken and waffles I've that been, have. Like, you're gonna stone. I've had literally everything. They, ha they have eggs, bacon, guacamole, cheddar, um, paprika, and honey mustard. It's amazing. Oh, I got it. Have you also had those like little round um, hash browns, like the tokens? They're so good. Was that any leftover waffles? Yeah, I brought one home. Yes, they're amazing. I want a smoothie, but I think I'm gonna get a smoothie. Literally looks like the sexiest thing ever. I'm yeah. so excited. Oh my cool. gosh. I know, and that's coming from a vegetarian. Coming from a vegetarian, that looks really good. <laughs> Hers looked amazing too. Yeah, I already started eating Chocolate but it's French so good. toast. I'm gonna have to have a bite of my sweet treat. Yes. Later. And I got these are the milk. best too. No, the roasted potatoes are better. No. The roasted potatoes are better. These are better. I get them every week, they're better. My chicken and waffles is good, but it was not as good as the last time I had it. There was more bacon and more avocado, I think, the last time, but it was still good. All right, Jess is going to get a tattoo now. Ah! All right, show them. She's what? getting a little postcard. I'm gonna get a little, yeah, but I need it to be smaller than this. So but cute. You You'll see it. Yeah, yeah. Like Country like, roads check. I literally go because play like, any song just not Country Roads, and this is what she puts on. That was like 10 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. It's gonna be on me forever. <laughs> Love. Olivia's just now decided to get one, so she's figuring out where to put her tattoo. Here. Yeah. Yes. It's painful. Like oh. there's this box, oh, okay? The bone. You have to. Uh, here is a little bit less. Olivia's literally taking luckiest girl in the world to a new level. To the grave. She's getting luckiest <laughs> tattooed on her foot. Olivia already oh. has six tattoos. So this isn't that big of a deal for her, but... I put some water in the slider. Does it hurt over here? <laughs> a little bit. It's, it's, a, it's a bony spot.
Well, I didn't exactly expect when I we just left the these girls getting tatted today. We How do you tattoos. feel? It, it hurts. hurts. Amazing. This was the first time I've witnessed someone get a tattoo. I loved it. Very um, interesting. If you know my this mom, don't it. tell my mom. Um, also, well, this is the most painful out of like the six I have already. I really? texted my family and my mom goes, an envelope question mark? All right, we're going home, ladies and gents. It's five o'clock. I don't know how like the, where the day's gone, but it's gone. Yeah. Hey guys, it's that like point in the semester where like it just feels so right to sit in sweatpants in a circle talking about nothing and like just like collectively being on your phone together. Oh, um, dinner. Lauren wants to go to dinner. I just had lunch from starving. But in Deloitte's <laughs> We don't really know what to do yet. It's like we want to maybe go like to the ice skating area. Tonight? And oh, ice skating tonight? said tonight, but I, I can't. But tonight. it's, it's like eight. raining. We'll it's Saturday. raining and it's cold right now. So we're thinking of pushing that to Saturday, so but we haven't done anything today. Besides watch Olivia and just get a tattoo and eat chicken and waffles. That's what I've done today. Hey, that's oh, a and, wonderful day. Hey, hey and I shot out like three episodes of Grey's Anatomy. You watch so much TV here. I haven't watched a single episode of TV since I... I started watching this new reality show on Netflix called My Unorthodox Life. And it's really good. I understand. <laughs> it's wow. about the woman that uh, is the CEO of the Elite Modeling Agency. Mm -hmm. Apparently she used to be in like this like crazy religious Jewish cult or something. I don't know. And then she like got out of it. I'm one episode in, but like, I really liked it. I also, oh, I also did the Armani thing. I'm looking at the kiss me on the mirror and it's reminding See, you did so much. Look at guys, I didn't show you this thing. But I shot a holiday campaign. I shot a holiday campaign and here it is. Kiss me. Lauren wants us to go to dinner. It's that, I, I have leftovers and I don't want to get out of bed. I've been out for like every meal. Like, I'm like spending like thirty dollars at lunches nowadays, and I'm like whatever. People like my TikTok did really well, and like everyone's number one question is, "How did you budget?" And I'm like, "There's no budget. There is no for half the semester, but now you can splurge." There's no budget. It's just like you have to remember that like you'll just never do this again. And if you have, it's not like you're going into debt to go out to dinner. You're right. just spending money you have. Right. But it's also like, I, I don't even feel bad when I spend money going out to dinner here because we eat such good food. Lauren's in, I wish I had a video. I'm going to do a compilation of all of the times that Lauren's like. All right. I just asked him for his favorite thing and he gave us this like ricotta filled. It sounds weird. I'm excited though. And Olivia got the chocolate one. Donut. Is it good? Inside. Wow. You know me. You know that literally. Anytime someone comes to my house, I have to pawn something off on them. Like I'm like, oh, you should just take this sweater. Oh, you should just take these boots. Like anytime, whether I was in Kent. So come look at all the things. Here's a haul of all the things she's bringing home. Silver metallic boots. These are jewels that Jules has left in my house. Jules is giving me um, um, in this in this Prada bag. <laughs> I'm taking home this, which I actually really want. I just don't know how I'm gonna pack. This it. is also and Jules this, pink sweater dress. This is perfect for me, so I need that. So Mackenzie's giving me this ten pound cardigan that's from like, Revolve. That's so soft. It's like it's like, it's like has a bit of cashmere. It's so soft. What is it? What is the material of this? <laughs> are you sure you don't want to? Nylon. Oh, it's wool. That's why it's so warm. Do you want it? No. Okay. <laughs> I wore it once on a field trip, school field trip. Really? It's where? I don't remember. It was one of those Thursday visits, site oh. visits. Anyways, well, I'm, home. I'm, I'm so happy white turtle like that, that Sam, Sam wore for wore two weeks straight. <laughs> that, that, that is a season. I want you to know we did go in like three Zaras to replace it and we couldn't find it anywhere. So okay. <laughs> Anyways. All right. Well, we'll see you tomorrow morning. I'm not coming in the morning. Yes, you are. No, Come. No yes, you're now. coming. <laughs> Guys, tomorrow we're taking sunrise photos by the Duomo because Lauren sunrise, really wants to. I want nighttime photos. No. We'll do both. Jeff. Tutti Frutti. Jess, when in Rome. When in Rome. Guys, I'm literally not waking up. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Tell them what we're doing tomorrow. How much time? What are we wearing? Frenzy. Um, <laughs> Why do you look high? I'm like so tired. I can't get my eyes open. I don't know what's wrong with me. Good morning, guys. It's another 
late start to the day and I'm so bummed. Today we were planning on waking up for sunrise and taking photos by the Duomo, but it was pouring rain outside. So everybody just went back to bed, had a terrible night's sleep. The mosquitoes literally attacked Lauren and I all night long. Like I was up tossing and turning. I have so many bites on my face. I'm like, how are mosquitoes even alive in December? And it's because we accidentally left our bathroom window open. But anyways, um, I really need to edit a week in my life. I have been just so unmotivated to edit. Ugh, it's the worst. Once I get out of my routine, it's so hard to get back in it. So I'm going to sit down and force myself to knock this out so that I can do other fun things today. Quick little lunch break. I just made my last Olivia sandwich of the semester. I basically finished up all my groceries. So I've decided I'm not gonna go grocery shopping again and I'm just gonna take advantage and eat out and you know, just have the real Italian experience, all the pizza pasta while I can, because I know I'm gonna miss it. So, cheers. Hi guys, it's eight o'clock. I don't even know where this day has gone. I haven't vlogged at all because I haven't done jack shit. I've done literally nothing. I scrolled on TikTok for two hours. I talked to Instagram Live for an hour. I scrolled through Instagram for 45 minutes. Um, I spent an hour stalking people on Visco for 30 minutes. Checked people's Snapchat scores for another, you know, like I've done nothing, okay? Um, and I feel kind of guilty for like wasting away the day. But I haven't been able to just like sit in this apartment really at all since this entire semester. So it felt good to do nothing, um, even if I am feeling guilty. But I did just do my makeup because we're getting ready for a fun evening out. So we have dinner reservations at nine, so late in the day, which is also, it's kind of throwing me off. But we collectively, uh, this is what I need to work on once I get back to America. I need to do a blog post of outfits to wear when you are going from dinner to drinks to going out that's such a niche topic and it's so hard to get dressed for like what do you wear that's appropriate to wear like to a restaurant but then you still look hot to like go out dancing and clubbing and like meeting boys and you know we really struggle with that here um but we find ourselves running into that situation every week also long sleeve going out tops just so hard to come by we don't have any of those here and it's making life a lot harder. So um, I'm gonna attempt to put on something original but I can't promise I'm gonna come up with anything. Um, Let me ask something too. Yeah, and I gotta pick out Lauren and Olivia, mm -hmm. something that's, I mean like we have the same five at tops here but yeah, that is a blog post I am gonna work on because I feel like it would be helpful to a lot of you guys and maybe a lot of you are in the same boat of like being in a colder climate and but like still wanting a cute going out outfit. Getting very original with the outfit tonight. I mean, would you ever guess that I'm wearing a black tank top jeans and black boots with a black leather jacket? Groundbreaking. Um, I actually haven't worn this top yet. She's cute. And Lauren's wearing another top of mine that I haven't worn that's like backless and she's wearing my leather pants. And Jess is wearing the boots awesome. from Jules. Vintage Jewels merch and um, Olivia is wearing my top from Revolve. Show them. Show them. All of us have I worn this. That. I actually love that top. I know. It was very cute. Today. Very cute. All right, let's have a night, ladies. Just found this place on Instagram that does the cheese wheel. We wanted to do this in Rome and we just didn't have time. So this place is called Osteria Pastella, and they make all of the pasta handmade, like right in front of you, basically. And we really want to try off the cheese wheel. So far, so good. They gave us all complimentary champagne. Cheers! Cheers! Oh, no one else. Cheers. <laughs>
they just made our little cheese wheel pasta. I can't believe this is 27 euros, but I'm hoping that it's gonna be life changing. Tell us, Jess. It's really good. The girls got ravioli. Oh is that life changing, Liv? Tortellini. Tortellini, sorry. It's good. It's good? It's so good. We also got spritzies. All right, we're at Lions, and I ordered two keg steak shots for Lauren and I because I was like, oh, it's our last night. It's usually orange. to the Duomo and try to go inside of it. I really have been wanting to go inside of it, so I'm excited. Got on a white long sleeve shirt underneath of a sweater vest, little brown jacket, same mango jeans I was wearing last night, and my Steve Madden Hutch boots. And then I have it. <laughs> um, everybody reply and say, if I Snapchat boys like this, do you think that they will date me? <laughs> And then I'm wearing my Africa purse because I haven't worn it in a while. So, yeah, I'm excited. It's going to be a fun little Saturday here in Florence. You guys, I'm so bummed. It literally will not stop raining here. And all I wanted was like a sunny last week. But it's okay. It just means that the weather's sad that we're leaving, you know? Probably our last Pinots of the semester. Okay, today I got a springtime, but I got it with turkey instead of prosciutto, and I really hope that I like it. I don't know, I just wasn't in a prosciutto mood. I've had it too much this week. And Jess, she's a vegetarian. The Lady D, which is literally it's wow, pretty much it looks the vegan good. sandwich, but with cheese, which is like what I get anyway, so. Yep. Hi, guys! Hi. We're waiting in line to go inside of the Duomo. And guys! When we were looking for lines, I just discovered that they have English Mass here on Saturdays at 5 p.m. And I was like, I kind of hope that I find a Saturday Mass so that tomorrow we could do other things. Mm -hmm. And it was a sign. Perfect. So I'm still going to go in now with mm -hmm. Jess, but I'm also going to go to church at 5, I think, here. So we're going to have to do stuff I'm excited. I know. I think I might just do my souvenir shopping now. Oh, yeah. And get that, out, not out of the way, but like just, you know, do some of that now. It's pouring outside, but... We can survive Budapest. We're the luckiest we can girls survive in the world, anything. so we don't care that it's we raining. Care. We're just happy to be here. Rain doesn't bother me in Florence, because I like being here. <laughs> <laughs> just in Budapest, you didn't like it. Very underwhelming. Very underwhelming. I mean, well, we didn't pay. We just went into yeah. the general part. It was still beautiful. It was, but it was just very similar like, to a lot of other. Right. Like if you're coming to Florence and you haven't seen every other church in Italy, then you're probably gonna think it's amazing. 
But if you have been to every other church, like <laughs> then, we have, very underwhelming. then it's definitely not the prettiest one we've been. But I'm, like, so I'm very excited to go to church there later today. But in the meantime, we're gonna do a little bit of shopping for some souvenirs and things like that, so. Tell them. Let's manifest the sun coming out. Yes. Is that what I'm telling them or am I telling them something else? Well, tell them where we are, what we're, we're doing. on the Ponte Vecchio. I just hit somebody. Um, this is where all the gold is sold. I don't know the history behind it. Don't ask me. It's very busy and I'm vlogging on my phone because it's very gloomy outside and my camera's having a hard time picking it up. But we are manifesting a perfect bracelet for uh, just today. I think if I had a gold bracelet, I would just never take it off. So then I never take okay. mine off. But these ones are all like real gold. I love gold their gold rings. Did she get one? Oh, look at these ones. Oh, wait, that ring's really cute. That gold one. All right, we're in one of these souvenir shops. And I just feel like I need to get one last batch of postcards. I'm not going to send any of these, but. I just love the watercolor ones. Aren't they cute? Let's so just get this. <laughs> <laughs> Write in her diary each night with it. <laughs> We're just seeing all of Florence today. We're over by the Christmas market by Santa Croce. I've been many times, but not during the day. It's like 3.30 and I came home really quick because I wanted to switch my purse, switch my jacket, and drop off the few things that I bought while I was out. I'll show you guys what I got. Um, nothing crazy, just a couple of things. I got something for my mom, which I'm not going to show you because she's probably watching this video. And then if you guys remember, I bought that like crochet tote when I was in. Hi. Um, Sorry. <laughs> I bought that like crochet tote when I was in Burrata, you guys knew. And it had two handles, but I really wanted a long strap for it because the handles like really hurt your hand after a while. So I ended up getting this pink one. I've been on the hunt for a solid one and I finally picked one up today. Um, I actually sent that purse home with Sam, but, and then I got, um, just a few more postcards. I'm about to go out and do like my actual shopping, but I was with Jess, so I feel like I can never like shop effectively when I'm with someone else, you know? So I'm about to go out on my own and get the last few like things for people that I need. But yeah, just a few fun things. What'd you get, Lauren? Oh, show them. Guys, Lauren just bought, Lauren just bought cowgirl boots yeah, from a vintage okay. store. Yeah. The vintage store. It's called Melrose Thrift Store. And it's one of the biggest in Florence. So cute. How much was it? 45. Oh. And I, the brand is rubbed off on the bottom, so I don't know the brand, but it says made in Italy. Oh, you can see that it says so made fun. in Italy, so they're like actual Italian leather. That's hopefully. such a good gift so, or yeah. a good thing for Gift for myself. Because you'll actually you can't, use them. Can't see them, the lighting's off. But yeah, I've been wanting a pair of brown. I have light tan, but I want brown. So gonna have to make it. Perfect. All right, the weather cleared up for my second leg of souvenir shopping and exploring today. I'm super happy. I'm back over by the Santa Croce Christmas Market. I'm just gonna walk through. I'm looking for like a few last like gifts and things like that. So um, gonna try to knock some of those out. It's beautiful out. Stopping at a little souvenir shop and I'm picking up a couple of bottle openers for just a couple of the guys in my life and then also getting a shot glass for Mr. Manny and I thought it'd be a fun gift. Say to the faints of heart, be strong and do not fear. Duomo for 
for their five o'clock English service. And today I had an out of body experience at church. I have been feeling so very confused on what is next for me. I've been content with this confusion, but wow, I have no idea where I will live or who I will live with or what I will be doing or why I'm doing it or where I'm doing it. And as I sat in church today with an infinite amount of unknowns, my last service of the semester, I felt God reminding me that I am right where I'm supposed to be. The priest during his homily said, do not be scared, don't be worried. Right now, right here is the birth of life. Just let him be there for you. Just let God be there for you. And I cried. I just couldn't help it. I mean, here I am at quite literally the biggest crossroad of my life. And yet I'm reminded more than ever to just be excited for all of this uncertainty and all of the opportunity that may come with it. I think that right there might be the luckiest situation of them all. I'm so lucky to be here right now. Service ended and I went to confession for the first time in years. Just prayed and, and God I pray, I pray for this past version of myself who was so worried and so lost leaving Ken. I wish that I could tell her that two of her greatest adventures were about to begin. I wish I could tell her that it gets even better. I wish I could tell her that she'd end up exactly where she needed to be. But more than anything, I also pray for future me. I pray that she continues to flourish in these opportunities. I pray she's as happy as she is right now. And I pray that she remembers this version of herself holding on to that peace forever. I pray that I always find a home right here in Florence, in this place, I really do. And I pray for this feeling. I pray for this feeling over and over and over again. Because it really is so awesome. So yeah, productive, productive Saturday Mass. So glad I came. Wow. I just, I've never felt God move in me the way that I have this semester. And you don't have to be religious. I don't want my channel to fully be uh, religious based. But at the same time, I have been a faithful person my whole life, but I've never felt this moved constantly like I have right here this semester. So what? just what an epic year, what a life changing year. And like I said, I just, I wish I could tell that girl that it was going to be the best damn year of her life, you know? So, I love you guys. Thank you for keeping me grounded. I know there have been times this semester that I've been a little disconnected. I've been preoccupied. I've been busy. I've been stressed. But I have been having the time of my life. And I feel so lucky to be able to share it with you guys on camera all these years. Start to finish together. I mean, how many people can say that? How epic start to finish with you? Guys. We're at New Bridge, which is a pizza place by our house that we've never been to, but Jess has been here and she loves it. And it's all decorated for Christmas and it's so cute. We're going out one final time. Woo! I had a dollar for every lemon shell spritz I've had. Guys, Jess and I are splitting a pizza. Look, it's got a little spoil. They're trying to flirt with us. Send me a shot, like a real man. <laughs> Okay. All right, besties. I can't lie. I think that my pizza at Newbridge, never in a million years did I think I was going to say this, but I think that was the best pizza I have had in Florence. It was amazing. Their pesto was great. The burrata was like not too cold. Crust was good. I just really enjoyed it. My spritz was spritzing. Good atmosphere, good vibes. I enjoyed it. Lauren, how's your pizza? Yeah. Average. Average? <laughs> really? She got artichoke, like something interesting. Yeah, like artichoke and ham and mushrooms. Mm. Well, I enjoyed it. And that's actually, guys, this is going to be the end of this vlog because it is, in fact, Saturday night. I know that I'm, like, off on editing, but this vlog has gone on enough days. I'm going to end this off and start one last college week in my life ever, which I can't believe. Does that not make you want to cry, Lauren? That's crazy. Our last vlog ever. Starting tomorrow? Starting tomorrow. And, okay, well, I am, it's not, okay, it's going to be my last college week in my life. It's going to be the last time you see us at school. It's going to be us moving out of here. But I am going to vlog graduation so, like, it won't be the last, like, time you'll see everybody, but it will be the last, like, vlog. So, 
stay tuned. Thanks for sticking with me, guys. Love you, and I will talk to you tomorrow morning. Bye.